Out he hits a Zubat. Harkless is out there with Kawhi Leonard. Then it's Patrick Dever. And it's George in a two guard. You know what, Smitty, tonight we have two teams that love to push the tempo, love the pace. Smitty, do you like the fact the NBA is getting faster? You know, I like it, Kevin. What I don't like is the coming down and taking a shot, an ill-advised shot. There's nothing wrong with playing fast, getting the ball up to court. If you don't have an advantage or a high percentage shot, just bring it out and run your offense. Stay within the offense, in other words. Yeah, right? stay within the offense. On offense, here are the Clippers. And here's Beverly. Now, here's Zubox. As to Leonard. Beverly up top. Shot clock at six. Over in the corner, Harkless. Los Angeles needs to get off a shot here. And off there, he misses his first shot of the night. The three from Harden. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule, losing to Chicago. Yeah, not a fan of moral victories, but that game, in a lot of ways, was a confidence booster for them because they really didn't have it that night and yet still had a chance. It's a testament to their character. They never gave up and fought their way back into it. They have to be happy with that, at least. Great focus on the defensive end there to contest that shot. And this is where you would prefer to work the ball to someone else for just a better look. Al Harden. Kawhi Leonard missing from long range. And the rejection by Zubox. Stolen by Harden. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And Harden's such a creative scorer, especially when he gets in close to the basket. George against Harden. George passes to Leonard. Here's Zubac, and two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And there's the foul against Houston. Well, if it's a Zubac, may not block a lot of shots, but uh, Smitty, he is still a solid defender. What Zubac does is a great job of challenging players at the rim and provides great help from the weak side. He does rack up a lot of defensive fouls, but hopefully that decreases with Shoot time. Two. That free throw missing. Good on the second free throw. We're just about two minutes into the first quarter. Westbrook scanning the floor. He gets that one. Like how confident Westbrook is close to the rim. Gets high off the ground and releases his shot quickly. Harden against George. From downtown, it's rebounded by Houston. Four shots, four misses, and you can sense a certain frustration building. Taps in the tray. Harden's got five now. And don't look now, but they're starting to extend this lead. They're doing it by building it out, step by step, valuing each possession. Yeah, slow start right now. Five straight misses to get this one going. And Westbrook gets it to go. And you know what? They've been on a nice run here, had the ability to widen the gap. Now they are rolling. I totally agree. They just can't be stopped. They're just firing on all cylinders. Zubac trying to break loose. The shot's good. I love the patience Beverly has developed with the ball in his hands. Terrific find. Here is House. Looking at his point production, he averages almost 11 points a game. It's good, and he makes his first shot of the game. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. And here is Los Angeles now. The Rockets making the shot. Outside Leonard passes it to Harkless. 
So nice passing here by Los Angeles. Shot clock at five. Pass to Beverly. Fires from deep. Gets that one to fall after missing his first two. One for three from the field. Right in Beverly's wheelhouse, finding space. Quick release off the catch. Money. House kicks to Westbrook. And there's the pass to Tucker. Now the dish to House. Shoots over Leonard. It's hauled in by Zubats. Great focus on the defensive end there to contest that shot. And this is where you would prefer to work the ball to someone else for just a better look. It's been a rough quarter for him. Can't seem to find any kind of rhythm. And Smitty, once again, teams are switching defensively more than ever. As a side benefit, does that help defenders, you think, preserve some energy and some stamina for the game? Yeah, I think it does, Kevin. I really think uh, if you have the personnel to be able to switch. Some teams don't, and I think they're copycat leads. And you see the championship-level team switching, so you think you can. There are some teams, they just got to flat out come out and trap, rotate, and understand, give up shots to guys that you don't shoot a high percentage and live with that because sometimes, especially big guys, they put them on an island and it's just not fair. Good point. Second free throw, no good. And despite a fair amount of turnover, the Clippers have made the playoffs seven out of the last eight years. I am so surprised. When you lose Chris Paul, Blake Griffin, and DeAndre Jordan, you expect a complete rebuild. But the team stayed competitive throughout. And now they're well positioned into the future. And perhaps the most shocking news of the NBA offseason, Greg, the trade of Paul George. Nobody saw that coming. Took a ransom of draft picks to get him off the thunder. Kawhi Leonard recruited him to join him on the Clippers, and Paul obliged by demanding a trade. Came together Find quickly and, and caused Find a lanes. major power shift in the West. We throw good, Paul George. Well, for so much of what Paul George brings to the table, you have to start with his defensive impact. He is one of the top defenders in the league at his position, if not the best. The Rockets again can't hit. Clippers trail by six. Good. Nice job down low. George has got five now. And his presence as a scorer, it just has a calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need him. Harden, no good. You look at George with all he does, Greg, you sometimes forget how good his perimeter defense is. Well, I mean, his teammates and coaches won't ever forget about the impact he has on that end. Even when George isn't scoring or the shot isn't falling, he is still a monster on the floor just with his defense alone or three Westbrook looks good is good bucket number four from the field he's taken only six shots yeah that's too good a look to give him from behind the arc here's Beverly yep it counts five points in the game a shot that Beverly's developed once you have the floater you don't always have to get to the rim no one near Westbrook as he lets it go Capella. And the rejection by Zubats. George passes to Beverly. Outside, George. Over Harden. The shot by George, no good. He looked just a little out of rhythm. He's still trying to establish consistency from there. Love the attitude of Westbrook. Continues to improve at running the offense and finding ways to create opportunities for his teammates. Now, here's George. He had a 27-point outing in their last game against the Bulls in Chicago. Zubats with it. 
pass to Beverly. Let's it go from deep. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. He's hot this quarter, getting the shots he wants, and he's delivering. Harden the pass to House. Let's take a look at the 2K leaderboard to find out who the best defenders have been over the past time. Here are your Steel's leaders. James Harden is second. Really been fantastic defensively this run for him. He's had more than his share of steals, and now he's looking to get more. And the first one drops. A platoon swap here for the Clippers. Houston with a big group substitution here. Tyson Chandler is checked in for Clint Capella. Cephalosha comes in for P.J. Tucker. McLemore is checked in for James Harden. And it's Rivers in for Russell Westbrook. And so House nails both of them. Sometimes, Smitty, you see someone make a pass and wonder, how did he even see that guy? I mean, I could just it's amazing to me. Yeah, I think Chris Paul leads that list. I think uh, from a big Jokic, Trey Young is a young guy, Ben Simmons, Doncic, those guys see the floor extremely well. This is the shot you want right at the rim. He just couldn't deliver. Passes to Cephalosha. Pass to Chandler. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Yeah, is Chandler a difference maker defensively? The shot blocking, the controlling of the lane. He also gobbles up those rebounds. The Rockets shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And the first one at the line is good. He hits one and misses one each at the line. And for a long time, Jermichael Green was mostly an energy player. But he's expanded his game lately. Worked on developing an outside shot. He can drop a few threes from the power four spot. Now, Kevin, he still has a high motor. You love the activity around the rim. Rockets with the rebound. Their last game, a win against San Antonio. Looking to carry that into this one. Yeah, that was a fun one to watch. Love seeing the desire that, that comes through when a team knows they have to turn it up to pull off the comeback. Here is Williams after the Rockets pick up three. Magruder kicks to Shannon. Outside Green. Back to Shannon. Over Rivers. They get it again. Hero. Nice work on the board. It's paying off with the basket. Incredible activity from Montres Harrell. So many of his points is off the offensive glass. Now here's Rivers. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. And the rejection by Harrell. Over in the corner, Williams. A three-pointer, no good. Houston leading by eight. How's the pass to Rivers? Now the pass to McLemore. Rivers against Green. Let's it fly from 18. Rivers can't get it to go. And that is the exact type of opportunity this offense is looking to create. You know, if you get the ball to the right guy in the right spot, more often than not, you're coming away with points. And wow, you just have to love the motor on Montrez Harrell when he's on the floor. Great on the glass, and he just plays with such a, a fire.
Shooting two. The first one falls. And with Harrell, you can see how his energy spreads to the rest of the team. Reminds me a bit of what Fareed used to bring to teams. Harrell is also undersized, but boy, he makes up for it in so many ways. And both free throws, good for Harrell. What I appreciate about Harrell is how hard he's worked on his skill set. The jumper, the post moves, and the passing. Now here is Cephalosha. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's going to be on Montrez here. For Houston, they have gone four of six so far from the line. Missing a couple. Yeah, looking over their percentage on the season, I think they will be thrilled with the number in terms of their free throw percentage, 79. First free throw is good. Smitty, when things get heated between two players, we often see a double technical call. But should the instigator be penalized more if it can be determined who was <laughs> who was the instigator? I agree, Kevin. I, I just don't like sometimes when two guys get into it and you just automatically call it a double technical. Because the strategy-wise, if I was playing Kevin and their best player had a technical already, I would get into it just so I can call a double technical and hopefully he'll be gone. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Did you really? Honestly? No, we did. I mean, I think that, Kev, back in the day, you saw, like, Patrick Ewan, for instance. He had a tech. We were just sending somebody out there just to see a couple plays. If we can get him thrown out. Especially now, if you just call a double technical the way they do, a lot of star players have been gone. Now here's Rivers. A look at his stats. He averages a bit over eight points a game. Just five to shoot. McLemore, the pass to Chandler. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. We've got a quick moment now to take a look at the long-term rebounding numbers over several seasons for Capella. On the boards, he's been a much bigger presence these last few years than he had been prior. And he can be counted on now to make an impact with his rebounding. And that's a product of all the work he's put in down low. Shamit the pass to Harrell. Here's Magruder. Pass to Shamit. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. And they get it back. Los Angeles with another miss. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Here's Chandler. And finally, that one's good. Really strong rebounding on the interior, and he gets the easy putback. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Shamit finds William. With the teardrop, and it's good on the way in. You know, bursting off the screen, Williams makes a quick decision, takes it himself. We'll see if they want to trade two for one here. Got to time up that clock to do so. Rivers against Williams. Shoots the three. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Green's got his fourth rebound in this one. Loads it up there for Harrell. And Harrell slams it in. Boy, he is continuing to evolve. Harrell reading that situation perfectly, making himself an asset as a scorer. Now Rivers. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. From deep three-point range. And no luck with that time on the buzzer. And for superstar players like Westbrook, individual greatness isn't enough. It's about elevating the team around them. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one.
And when you consider how the Rockets are doing, guys, what are your thoughts? Yeah, in that first period, they look to push in transition at every opportunity. That's their mindset. Attack, attack, and attack some more. You're not going to beat them playing soft. We've got Green. He's out there with Montrez here. And it's Williams at the point guard. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, we know about Lou Williams' story. The three-time sixth man of the year may be undersized, but he keeps finding angles to score. Williams said, I can't shoot straight up. I've always played crooked. It's weird, but it's something I've developed, fading away from guys. I have bigger defenders on me, and it's just about creating space. Kevin, even well into his 30s, Lou Will still does it as well as anybody. I would totally agree, David. He is always dead. Thank you. Shooting two. First one falls for him. Steve, so many talented players in the league, sometimes there's frustration over the lack of playing time. Uh, for instance, you look at the Celtics last year, a prime example. Yeah, and I think sometimes, Kevin, you can have too much talent at the same positions and also style of play. You need some guys that can do other things that be effective on the court versus just scoring the basketball, and I think that's the reason why the Celtics ran into some trouble last year. Now, here is Cephalosha. It's Rivers on the wing. A floater and the rejection by Harold. Here's Williams, and the shot is good. Williams has got his second bucket of the night. The thing about Lou Williams, he sort of glides around, and suddenly he hits the turbo jets. Here's McLemore, and oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. This is his first trip to the line tonight. throw good for McLemore. So for the Clippers, Leonard comes in for Jermichael Green and George is subbed in for Rodney Magruder. Houston also making some changes. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Chandler. Harden comes in for Cephalosha. And Russell Westbrook is subbed in for Rivers. And he can't hit the second. And it's Leonard with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. It's a three-point game. And Kawhi Leonard with the slam. Common occurrence for Leonard. Once he makes his way to the rim, Kawhi levels up. Outside Westbrook. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. Here's the floater. Capella dishes to Tucker. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Harrell's got five rebounds tonight. Now here's George, guarded by McLemore. And George gets it to go. And hustle paid off there for George in the open court. Gets up court in a flash and finishes before the D can even react. Now here's Westbrook. Ten points for him. Shots good by McLemore. Not too much respect shown to him by the defenders. The Clippers have gotten four of the first five shots to fall in the second quarter. Outstanding shooting. Here's Williams. That shot misses. And it's Houston the other way. They've led by as many as 11 points. Here's Westbrook. Chalk up two there. And now a four-point rocket lead. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. Williams against Westbrook. Good D by Westbrook. 
their game plan needs to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he is just not there offensively. And for a big guy, Harrell's quick off his feet. He can block shots inside and on the perimeter. Outside, Leonard passes it to George. Now, here's Leonard. T right on him. Back to George. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. And that's 10 points for Paul George. And there's never been any question about George's three-point range. He just goes through stretches where he knocks down the three at a ridiculous rate. And how about the incredible timing on that alley-oop? He absolutely hammered it down. Williams looking around. The 19-foot shot. And that one hits back iron. Missing that one helps out all the analytical guys from the mid-range. And stolen by Harrell. And here is Williams. And you know the points will always be there for him. He's averaging just a shade under 20 points a game right now. And Capella sends it back. And now the fast break. Westbrook with the ball. And the rejection by Harrell. Outside Williams. Pass to Harrell. Over Westbrook. No good off the front iron. Rockets leading by three. And a boom. It was for the Rockets to be able to keep Clint Capella. Now, a great fit with the team and, and gives them exactly what they need on the interior. Now, here's Westbrook. He's coming off a 31-point game against San Antonio. Harden against Leonard. Down low. And that one is off. Good work defensively by Capella. And Greg Capella, who was taken near the end of the first round back in 2014 in the draft, has developed well during his time with Houston. And Capella's game has really taken off in the last few seasons. He looks to be a double-double machine for this team for the next handful of years, and that is exactly what they need. Here's Westbrook. Kawhi Leonard making his last shot. Shot's good by McLemore. And this is tough to stop if you're the defense. They have just gotten locked in from three-point range this quarter. And the Clippers call time here for Lou Williams. On defense, the Rockets. Leonard looking over the floor. Harold trying to free himself up. It doesn't go in. He's three for nine now and frustrated. Here's Westbrook. Kawhi Leonard comes up with the rebound. Leonard's got six rebounds in the game. Looking for George. He gets it there. And he uses the glass on the lane. George has got 12. And guys, when George gets cooking, you are in for a long night. He's just fantastic at finding different ways to score. And there hasn't been anything easy for him in this period. And you've seen they've made numerous attempts to try to get him going. Shows how valuable he is to this offense. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Now here's Westbrook. He's got 12. But three. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Leonard's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. And for his offense, this has just been a brutal period. And this is what you like about his perimeter D. Never gave up and challenged the deep. You see some guys, they just mail it in. They don't go out and contest it. Not him. He's going to compete through the entire play. For the Clippers, Zubac is checked in for Harold, And Landry Shamit subbed in for George. And a change for the Rockets. Cephalosh is checked in. Now, here's Shamit. 11 points for him in that last game against the Bulls in Chicago. The shot by Harkless, no good. Houston's gone 6 of 12 from outside. A very nice 50% mark, shooting the three ball well. Yeah, just constantly attacking the paint. Harden does not settle. 
And so Beverly will bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. Trailing by two. Next matchup, they'll be home against the Suns. And that will be the middle game of this three-game homestand. Zubats. And the Clippers miss again. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. And the dunk by Capella. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. Here's Leonard after Clint Capella's bucket. Outside Leonard. Yes, it's good. Good for basket number four. He's now four for ten. And for Leonard, it's not just the size. It's the skill level and his commitment to greatness. Offensive rebound. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. Rockets have hit six free throws and ten attempts. one is off. Jamichael Green, he's checked in for the Clippers. And then for Houston, Chandler comes in for P.J. Tucker. And it's Austin Rivers in for Russell Westbrook. And that trip coming up empty. Missing both. Los Angeles has gone three of seven tonight from three-point territory. Rivers against Beverly. The pass to Green. Down to five on the shot clock. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. They've led by as many as 11 points. Here's Rivers. The Clippers grab the miss. Harkless has got rebound number five here tonight. Can you believe it? He's missed every shot he's taken. Yet this team still continues to hold the lead. Unselfish. Moving the ball. Love to see this kind of offense. Knocks it loose. Here's Capella. Great D that time from Green. L.A. has gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. Beverly against Harden. And Beverly kicks to Shannon. Ring shot on the way. Zubats no good. Not sure if that's the shot you were looking for, but it's a fairly clean look. Almost have to take it. But they recover it. Second chance shot. He squares up and sinks it. And the Rockets lead by two. I mean, he's extremely confident and aggressive. Rivers loves to take it up inside. Zubats against Capella. Zubats the pass to Beverly. Up top, Zubats. A look at his stance. He averages a bit over eight points a game. Stolen by Zubats. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. And how about the basketball IQ of Chandler? Just knows exactly when to sky and commit to blocking shots. Now here's Rivers. Capella finds Harden. And Harden with the stuff. And he shows us all what the breakaway rim was invented for. Can you believe he almost brought the whole thing down by hanging on that long? Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Pass to Green. And Chandler sends it back. Harden scanning the floor. It's good. And now a six-point Houston lead. And it is easy to get spoiled watching Harden. He's had so many games like this in his career, but you still got to appreciate what he does. Now, here's Green. Pass to Zubats. Here's Harkless. Currently averaging almost six points a game. Pass to Shamit. There's the triple. 
Tyson Chandler pulls it in. Chandler's got six rebounds in the game. Guys, uh, they've been getting it done. They came out with a mission, and they have been tough to stop. I mean, wonderful court vision. Sometimes Rivers gets locked in to finding his own shot. This time, finds the open man. Here's Beverly, and Capella sends it back. And so it's Houston, holding on to an eight-point lead, heading into the break. They're playing a bruising game. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. Clippers trail by eight. And on the floor for Mike D'Antoni starting the second half. Westbrook and Harden, the dynamite pair. They're the backcourt. Clint Capella is out there with Chandler, and it's House in at the three. Chandler with the steal. And there's the pass to House. And it's sent back by Leonard. Strong instincts and positioning. Kawhi read that shot all the way. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Many thought the Raptors or Lakers would land Kawhi, but in the end, he came to the Clippers to write his own legacy. Returning to Southern Cal, where he grew up, was a big part of his decision. The big surprise was how Kawhi was out recruiting other stars behind the scenes to join him with the Clippers. A two-time Defensive Player of the Year, Kawhi Leonard last season averaged 27 points a game. That's what you call a two-way player. And the first one drops. And a career high in scoring last season for the great Kawhi Leonard. Kevin, he maintained his elite efficiency. Kawhi Leonard's growth as a scorer has been remarkable over the course of his career. Houston making a switch here. Tucker's checked in. So one for two that time at the stripe. Kawhi was drafted 15th overall in 2011. If they had a redraft, I wonder what number he would go down. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. House dishes to Harden. And if you're just joining us, we played over a minute here in the third. Excellent D there from George. Shaky start to the half. Going one for four. Still trying to find that groove. Beverly against Harden. Six to shoot. Here's Beverly. And Capella sends it back. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Houston leading by nine. Harden outside. Harden draws the double. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by George. Now let's take a look at Paul George. Some stats on him. Unbelievable play for him over the last month. 18th in steals. And he's right up there in the top 20 in scoring. Certainly a force to be reckoned with offensively and yeah he, he's one of the better steel guys in the league constantly getting his hands in there and as a ball handler you have to respect him at all times no other way to put it just a poor shooting performance for him but luckily his teammates have picked up the slack and with the success they've had rebounding the basketball they're right where you'd expect them to be firmly in the driver's seat now here's beverly he's got eight basket good beverly's got 10 points in the game Explosive first step off the bounce. Beverly has the speed to do this. Harden against George. Now, here is Harden. He's guarded closely. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That one on George. And really, on top of all else Harden does for you at this end, he's a tremendous free throw shooter, around 85% for his career. 
clutch. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. And Greg, when you're discussing and comparing James Harden and what he's done these last few years, you have to do it on a very historic level. He's going to go down as one of the best to ever play the game. His production is incredible, and the skill level really is groundbreaking. He's easily the best off guard in the league. Harden hits them both. Well, a lot of players can get hot, but nobody can match Harden when he gets locked in. The, the way he can create space and drill shots from deep, really impossible to guard. Now here's Harkless. Back to Leonard. From deep. The Rockets pull it in. And with Harden, he not only gets hot for a game, but stays hot, Greg, for longer periods of time. And you saw that last year with his streak of 30 and 40-point games. For weeks, he can dominate and, and really frustrate defenses and there isn't anything you can do about it. Now here's Westbrook. The 12-point lead, their biggest of the game. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. And here comes Harden, leading the fast break. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Two shots. Foul. Two. On the night, he's gone two for two at the strike. Shooting two. And he makes the first. Lou Williams has checked in for Patrick Beverly. That one is no good. We know, Steve, the NBA looking at lowering the draft eligibility age from 19 to 18. The one and dones would be gone. You like the move? I do like the move, Kevin. I would just love to have a lot of things in place for these younger guys, whether they're 18, 19, some guys at 25. Just something in place to help these guys, especially with some of the things that are having problems with off the court and also financially. Have some uh, kind of third eye to be able to help these guys. And this is where the G League comes into play, isn't it? Yes, indeed. Here's Williams. James Harden picking up that last basket. Williams kicks to Leonard. Looking to get it going. And again, the Clippers good for two. You know, there's a rhythm to Leonard's game, but also an awareness. Just takes what the defense allows. It's Westbrook with the drive. Tipped away. Williams with the steal. And even three-on-three -three break. And George with the stuff. Oh, that's a major league throwdown. Keeps a tight grip on that rim, too, after the finish. George against Harden. Poke loose. And oh, here we go with Leonard. Nobody back. And Kawhi Leonard with the slam. And you see Kawhi's hustle in transition, always putting himself in position to succeed. Westbrook passes to Capella, and he makes that one. Continuing to stoke the fire, his shot making has been absolutely superb. This is his second trip to the line in this one. Not the best statistic for him in terms of his performance at the line. Very low numbers. Ben McLemore, he's checked in for the Rockets. One shot. Three 
Free throw no good for Capella. Clippers trail by nine. Here's Magruder. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Well, the undrafted Rodney Magruder, Greg, has earned his way into the NBA. It was 25 by the time of Magruder's rookie season. Has spent some time overseas and in the G League, but he's improved his game and has kind of carved out a spot here in the league. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Not the best statistic for him in terms of his performance at the line. Very low numbers. First free throw is good. Well, Rodney Magruder has fought his way into the NBA as an outside shooting threat. Played at Kansas State, but bounced around overseas and in the G League after not getting drafted. But in his time in the NBA, he's shown he can knock down a three and is a decent option for outside scoring. Both shots good from the strike. Rockets leading by seven. McLemore with the ball. Seven points in the game. Williams with the ball. Westbrook picks him up. Pull up Jay. And again, it's the Clippers missing. Yeah, well, he's going to have some explaining to do on the sideline about why he took that shot. Low percentage chance. If it's not there, give up the rock. Trust your teammates. Now here's Leonard. 13 points in the game. Man. Guarded by McLemore. Man passes to Harrell. Five on the clock. Here's Magruder. A three-pointer off the mark. Houston's gone outside a lot tonight. 17 times, in fact. Seven of 17. Good on the three-point shot. Westbrook's got 15 points. Yeah, that's a great shot. Third three of the game for him. First in this half. Man passes to Williams. Over McLemore. No good off the back of the rim. You know, we talk a lot about scoring efficiency. He's displaying the exact opposite. Westbrook can't get it to go. And it's Williams with the ball for Los Angeles. It's a 10-point game. Pass to Harrell. Back to Williams. Over McLemore. And again, no good by the Clippers. You know what? He's just stone cold right now. Really not sure if he's their best option offensively as they try to get back in this game. Twenty feet out. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Leonard's got eight rebounds in this game. Mann passes to Williams. Passes it to Leonard. And finished off by Leonard. And he wanted everybody in the building to feel that ferocity. And we did. Yeah. And we, we filled it. <laughs> Even over here, we filled it. Here is House. He's got 11. Taken away by Williams. And now in transition, here's Williams. Here we go. Pass to Mann. Jacks up a three. It's good. Great play by Williams to set it up. Williams has got six assists here tonight. That's a nice read. The value of keeping your eyes up. Now here's Westbrook. 15 points in the game. From past the arc, hits the three-point bomb. Westbrook's got 18 points in the game. Hey, continue to stack it up from three. He's got two in each half so far. Outside, Williams. And the pass to Leonard. It's hauled in by Clint Capella. Houston leading by eight. Here's Westbrook shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's on Lou Williams. 
Well, you, you knew after the Paul George trade that the Thunder would look to sell on Westbrook as well. Just part of the rebuild at this point. His agent did well to get him to a team looking to compete. A great fit for a player in this stage of Russ's career. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good, and Los Angeles with some changes. Green comes in for Rodney Magruder, and Landry Shamit subbed in for Williams. The Rockets also changing it up. Tyson Chandler, he's checked in for Clint Capella. Cephalosha comes in for P.J. Tucker, and it's Rivers in for Daniel House. So he picks up just one from the line that time. Clippers trail by nine. Here's Leonard Westbrook with the block and is on a bounce to the Clippers as the Clippers retain possession. Los Angeles making a switch here. Zubats is checked in. Now, here's Shamit. He's covered by Westbrook. Passes it to Mann. Five to shoot. Pass to Zubats. And he makes good on the layup. Great pass to set your man up with a high percentage look. Rockets leading by seven. Now Rivers. He gets hauled in by Zubats. Zubats has got his sixth rebound on the night. Pass to Mann. And here is Shamit. Now here's Harrell over Sampalosha. Fires for three. It's rebounded by Houston. Westbrook's got five rebounds tonight. Robbed up there for Chandler. He's off on that one. Well, that alley-oop attempt, the case of what could have been, just didn't finish the play. You know, this is something you practice over and over again. I'm surprised they couldn't execute. Yeah, exceptional play there to take the bump and still get it to fall. The Clippers have attempted 11 free throws today and converted eight of them. Yeah, and over the course of the season, they're a respectable 78%. That comes in handy in close games. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Tyson Chandler. And that one misses. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're uh, just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. Now here's Harrell. He's got eight. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. You know, Austin Rivers, the 10th overall pick in the 2012 draft, has turned into a nice combo guard, having the ability to play the one and the two. Shooting two. Free throw drops for Rivers. And, and what a journey it's been for Austin Rivers since being drafted 10th overall back in 2012. Looked like he might not have what it takes to be an NBA player early, but he persevered and is now an integral part of this group. Patrick Beverly, he's checked in for the Clippers. And so he gets them both. And with Rivers, he's never given up on himself and continued to add to his game. Even, Greg, as he's gone from team to team. You know, he's shown that he can function as either the point or off guard and still give great production from either spot. 
And as he grows older, you, you could see him being a top-level six-man for the rest of his career. Now, here's Beverly. He's got 10. That one's in there. Rocket lead is cut down to seven on the bucket from Zubac. He shot two free throws in the game, made one, and missed one. Paul George, he's checked in for the Clippers. On the free throw, no good. Well, you talk about someone who's an absolute piranha on defense, and that is Patrick Beverly. Gives you no room to get comfortable and is a thorn in his assignment side. Now, here's George. He's guarded close over McLemore. Reverses. It'll go. The Rocket lead is cut down now to just eight points with the basket from Zubac. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Now here's McLemore outside. That's good, and so Westbrook comes up with the assist. Westbrook's got six assists in the game. Los Angeles has gone one of four in three-point shots here in the third. And Beverly kicks to Zubac. Now, here's Shamit. He's covered by Westbrook. Outside, George. Just five on the clock. Takes a three. They get it back. A second chance effort. Got it in the Houston Leagues. Been cut down now to just nine in the basket from Zubox. A much different player here in the second half. He's taken advantage of what the defense allows. Here's Westbrook. 19 points in the game. He gets it up. What a play. He simply drains. Here is Harden. Beverly and Shamit in the backcourt together. Paul George is out there with Mo Harkless. And it's Zubats in at center locking down the middle. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. Westbrook can't get it to go. Clippers trail by 11. Shamit again the Clippers. Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. And here's Westbrook. He'll bring it up for Houston. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. No good on the triple. And you know what? If you're the defense, you got him right where you want him. Let him keep shooting those threes because he's been brutal in this half. They are just killing him on the interior. Rockets leading by seven. Harden with it. Fourth quarter of basketball. We're about a minute into it. The Rockets again can't hit. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting 41% for the game. Beverly wide open. That ball's nice feed that time from George. Strong three-point shooter throughout his career. Can't afford to allow Beverly much room from out there. And that one's good. Westbrook. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. Now the pass to Zubats. Fade away. And good. Got the English that time as it falls. What a turnaround for him since the half. More aggressive and more effective. Passes to McLemore. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Clippers trail by five. Here's George. Another one falls for the Clippers. Yeah, this offense is rolling. They've been assertive, but they're also playing under control. And it has them in a great spot to take the lead. They love to get a few stops now at the other end. Now, here's Shamit. He's covered by Westbrook. Now George. Pass to Zubac. Lock at six. To the inside. Shamit takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. 
Well, and it took a terrific effort at both ends to sustain this run. They've shown a lot of heart, a lot of fight, and they're close to taking the lead. Now, here is Harden. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And this is what the schedule looks like for the Los Angeles Clippers. On Tuesday, they'll go up against Devin Booker and the Phoenix Suns. Then on Thursday, they'll be taking on Clint Capella and the Houston Rockets. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Houston. Daniel House comes in for Ben McLemore. Harden hits them both. Money from the stripe. He does a great job night in and night out. Here's Los Angeles now. They're on a 13-5 run. Beverly finds Zubats. We're in the final quarter of play here. Three minutes in. Outside, George. And again, it's the Clippers from deep. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Houston's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Here's Westbrook. He gets hauled in by Beverly. Clippers have gone 7-of-7 seven seven from the field to start the final quarter. What an amazing start. And it's Shamit missing. The Rockets shooting 41% for the game. Westbrook drives in. That shot, no good. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Here's Beverly. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. Here is House, defended by Harkless. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And if there was ever a definition of a glue guy, Greg, it would be P.J. Tucker. He's so valuable to his team. You know, P.J. gives you production in every way, and his impact really goes beyond the stats. All the little things that coaches want their players to do, that's really the motto of Tucker's game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. Lou Williams has checked in for Landry Shamit. All three throws good from Tucker. On offense, here are the Clippers. They're on a 16-7 run. Beverly against Westbrook. Zubox the pass to Williams. To the paint. And there's George. That's good on the assist by Williams. Williams has got his seventh assist in the game. Timeout called. The Rockets. The sideline. Well, during that break, Mike D'Antoni talked to his team. He told them, hey, this game is there for you, but we got to go get it. 50-50 balls. Get into the basket. We have to give it all right now. Kevin? Doing his job on the glass and doing it with force. And, Greg, it's not everybody in the league who can make those kinds of plays. You know, this is one of his specialties, keeping plays alive, creating second-chance opportunities. And memo to the rest of the team, continue to get him the basketball. He's clearly delivering here in the fourth. And that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. And it's Harden with the ball for the Houston Rockets. 
Here's Westbrook. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. See, now he's getting defenders back on their heels a little bit. Getting to the foul line here in the second half. Here's George. A putback. It's hauled in by Clint Capella. Houston in the lead. Pass to Harden. Westbrook with it. It's hauled in by Zubats. Zubats has got rebound number 13 with that last one. Here's George. That one doesn't drop. And the Rockets take it the other way. Here's Westbrook. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Zubats is Los Angeles has gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Williams dishes to Beverly. And here is Zubats. And that one's good. Beverly. Beverly's got the lead up to one now for the Clippers. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. Harden inside the three-point line. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Three on three. And it's George finishing it off. Yeah, you see the athleticism George had on that dunk. It's so quick and explosive. Gets to the rim in an instant. Now, here is Harden. Another shot. Here's Capella. And the rejection by Zubats. Hacked and still knocked it down. Nice composure. What's up? Los Angeles making a switch here. Leonard's checked in. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. That's good from Tucker. And the Clippers call time here. Well, it's a player's league, but certainly covered up. Los Angeles has gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. There's the pass to Leonard. As crafty as he is, explosive. Kawhi Leonard gets the defender where he wants him. Gets to the line. Shooting for Los Angeles. Kawhi Leonard. Taking two shots. First free throw is good. Leonard hits them both. And here's Westbrook. He'll bring it up for the Houston Rockets. Stolen by Zubac. Inside, Leonard. And then Leonard with the dunk. 
gotta take care of the ball. They'll punish you uh -huh. if you're that careless. That's right, and that's severe punishment right there. We talk about it time and time again. Turnovers are costly, especially when the game is close. And here's Westbrook from the arc. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got his fourth rebound in this one. And it's Leonard. That time on the assist by Beverly. And now a six-point Los Angeles lead. Houston's gone into a funk from downtown in the fourth. Only one of their five three-pointers has found the bottom of the bucket. Here's Westbrook. It's hauled in by Beverly. And the truth is, I've been there. He's trying to find the rhythm on his shot. He feels like he's close, and that's why he keeps shooting. Zubats. And the dunk by Zubats. Not the kind of aggressive defense they need to cut into the lead. Yeah, you have to protect the rim, Greg, a little better. Also, if you can't get stops at this point, it really doesn't matter what you do at the offensive end. Here is Harden after the Clippers pick up two. And it's in there. Harden's got four points now in the quarter. Clippers leading by six. To the middle. Here's Beverly. Good. And it's Williams who picks up the assist. Williams has got assist number nine now. Wow. What an effort here tonight. Now here's Harden. Puts up a three. Hits it from three-point range. Harden's got 27. It's enough to where you have to respect him. Had one triple in the first half. Now has his second. Westbrook against Beverly. Bounce pass from Williams. Zubats. The free throw drops for Zubox. And so he hits both. Rockets trail by seven. Now, here is Harden. It's deflected. Here's Leonard. Leonard draws the double. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. You two players. And here is Los Angeles now. Harkless finds Leonard. Out to the right wing. Pass to Harkless. Shot clock at five. And again, it's the Clippers missing. Houston's gone a disappointing two of six on three-point attempts here in the fourth. How's the pass to Westbrook? Misses the three. He clearly wants to try and close this game out strong, but your deep range isn't there. You just can't keep forcing it. And Capella over to help. Zubat kicks to Leonard. Over House. Rebounded by Capella. Rockets trail by seven. House the pass to Harden. Over Beverly. And Harden gets it to go in on the assist by House. And that's now 29 points for James Harden. And the Clippers call time here. It's stolen by Capella. Harden against Williams. And the basket by Harden. Now just a three-point clipper lead. And Harden proving why he's an elite ball handler. Absolutely cutting the D to pieces with his move. 
143 left in the fourth quarter. There's Williams. Gets the 14-footer to fall. As the game tightens, I like Lou Williams' mentality. Never gets too high or too low. Williams against Harden. For the three. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Harden's got a couple of three-pointers now in the fourth for Houston. And it's Leonard with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. The lead is two. Shot on the wing. And that one swishes right in. Leonard's got 23 points. Trying to ice this one. Kawhi showing his evolution as a closer. Outside Westbrook. A flawless finish on the alley -oop. My goodness. Say, save that one. I, I want to see that again. Me too. Just absolutely beautiful. There's Williams with the three. Knocks down the three. Game on the line. You need a guy who's willing to step up and deliver that sweet loop. There's 53 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Westbrook against George. Right side Westbrook. Dishes to Capella. Over Beverly. Here's House. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. And he commits the intentional foul. We've got 33 seconds left to play here in the fourth. And now they decide to foul intentionally. free throw is good and that increases their lead to six and he hits both free throws here so now it's a seven point game good job want to keep fueling that lead make your free throws timeout time called the Rockets they're behind by seven 29 seconds left in the game. Here's Harden on the wing. He's covered by Leonard. Let's it go with a three. Harden's shot is off. And this is what you like about his perimeter D. Never gave up and challenged the deep one. You see some guys, they just mail it in. They don't go out and contest it. Not him. He's going to compete through the entire play. Everly with the ball. So the Clippers with the win. It was up for grabs right until the final seconds. Yeah, and for me, Kevin, what stood out is just the overall trust this group has in one another when it matters most. Doing what had to be done and to send these fans home happy and now let's kick